Where did communication in crime go wrong? When did it change drastically? When was the secret way of communicating ceased for criminals? Do you want me to tell you when? Do you want me to tell you when? When they banned pages. Pages was only the only way criminals could communicate without ever being traced about what you're saying or anything like that. That's why he banned them to the general public. That's why only high-ranking official um, government officials are entitled to pages or certain groups, certain groups in security and stuff. But that's where communication went wrong for criminals. What have we got in this country to combat crime? We've got the GHQ, GCHQ. And what does that stand for? That stands for the Government Communication Headquarters. And where's that based? That's based in Hertfordshire. And what's that built like? What's that a replica of? The Pentagon. So basically, we've got, we've got a communication block in this country. And everything electronic goes there before it gets to you. It doesn't matter how fast you think the call is. It's going there before it gets to you. This is the... Um, GCHQ in heart, which it is. So everything, electronic, email, text, phone call, is monitored and can be listened to if they want to. Whether they've got the capacity to listen to all calls in and out of the country right now, I'm not too sure, but that's what it is. So as we move on into the next decades, we move forward where criminals are becoming more advanced. Criminals are getting onto technology themselves. Why? Because they're making proper dough. We get on to these PGPs. What is a PGP? A PG is a phone that's encrypted and only certain individuals in a group have got access to this thing. It's on a server. That server will be in a, a, a different country somewhere, well hidden. There'll only be certain key members entitled to use this server, and that's how they encrypt. The one that you've just seen come down was... They found the server. They managed to find the server. They got into the server before it was locked off. So they shut that down and straight straight away they brought a new one in its place. The FDA, the CIA brought a new one in its place. What was that called? QNON. QNON. Everyone in Australia and overseas jumped right on this, was shipping all sorts of everywhere. Blah, 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 blah. Left, right, and centre. It was all false. It was all put out there so people would use it and they're still arresting people right now. Guns and all murders prevented right round the world on this. So what you've got now is everyone's cagey, ba 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 bam A year ago, two years ago, WhatsApp came from nowhere and go, right, bang, you can now use encrypted messages. We cannot trace your messages. We can da 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 Basically... After the dealers who haven't got a clue about observation skills, have went WhatsApp, bang, and start dealing on WhatsApp. Majority is sat there criticising me on a regular basis, probably deals on WhatsApp, have affairs at the same time. Don't think your door's not going in if you have been dealing on WhatsApp. It's only a matter of time before they shut it down and come through yours for dealing. And that's where we're at with communication skills by the police. <laughs> now, don't get it twisted. You know, police can enter your house, plant a bug, and leave it there for months and months and months. They won't even come and arrest you. They'll just know you're a good source of information. Why? Because there's loads of kids coming there to chill with your son. So what do they do? On every house they want to listen to, the majority of them, what do they do? They'll raid it for minor offences. That's what they'll do. Secure a warrant on a, on a daft like handling stolen goods. They'll come through your door, they'll search your house for hands and stolen goods. They'll be there for a few hours. Might arrest everyone in the house for a few hours. Whilst you're gone, they plant a bug in your ken. They release you without charge. You don't hear nothing of it and bang, your house is bugged. That's the way it happens. That's the way they, act. That's the way they bugged our house in 2003. It's as simple as that. If, so here's the story about that. I'll tell you this, this is a fact. I'm in jail, me, being in jail for a few months for the driving while band. The driving while band was in connection with um, something I'd done with Michael Wright. I went to jail for the driving while band. 
I'm in there whilst I'm doing this drive in my band. I'm in Lancaster Castle and I'm due out in a week or two. I've only been away for a few months, so everything was still popping off outside. Everything was rosy. Everything was going messy. So I normally make a phone call. And when I make this phone call, it's not getting answered. I normally ring me Mars house. It's not getting answered. Something's wrong. So the doors bang. Because I'm not getting answered all day, I get access to a mobile phone. So boom, ring after hours. Just get in touch the next morning. I'm anxious as paranoid. Something's gone on. Something's gone on. So I've got the phone all night barricaded up, half six in the morning, the phone answers, douche, they'd been arrested for conspiracy to cause arson on Michael Wright's S3. So when they've raided the house, this is who they've arrested. They've arrested me nan, me mum, Ian's girlfriend, and put one of the kids with the neighbours. They arrested them all. They erected a scaffold and a tar pail around me ma's house, sealed it off. They went in there. My ma's telling me all this, and I'm thinking, this is crazy. So at the time, them times, there was a man in our life called Edward McCabe. He's now resident in Scotland, being grafted up there all his life. Well, anyway, he was Billy's partner at one point, and he used to have a sweeper. If you don't know what a sweeper is, it's an it's electronic device that can, that can um, locate probes. If you don't know what a probe is, it's basically a sleeping device. What does it do? It activates when there's noise and sleeps when there's not. Every time there's a noise or a conversation, it'll activate and then it'll sleep. So some sweepers will only, will only sweep the ones that activate continuously. These probes are trying to like get past that, but they can be found. So we got a, a ring Eddie McCabe. Bang. Do us a favour, mate. Get your sweeper. Go round to our house. So Danny's been out for a few days. He's in the house. So we go round. Gets the sweeper out, goes round the house. No, it, it was routine. It was routine for when the boys or me or my mates went to my ma's house. We'd go in the kitchen, the kettle would get put on, the money would get out, a little bit of dough would be counted and whatever. So he's gone in the house, da -da -da -da, and he's gone into the kitchen. Above the kitchen table, an electric light, in, in the light, it's gone off its cake. Beep, 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 beep. They've gone upstairs into my mum's bedroom. Now, where my mum had had the new carpets laid, and they spray lash on the side, you could see it had been ripped up. Yeah, so they'd moved everything, roll the carpet back, and above the light where the floorboards were, there was six brass, six brand new screws zzz, 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 in the floorboard. So our Danny's there, Eddie's there, a few other people are there. So they go at it, zzz, zzz, start taking the floorboard off. The minute they get near the bug, there's a knock at the front door. You've got 12 suits at the front door. Not, not coppers in full force. This, this is 12 suits at the front door saying, we believe you're in possession of police property, Mr. G or Mrs. G. So our Danny's at the top of the stairs. You're not getting up here. You're not getting up here till, till my solicitor comes. Solicitors came, took photos of it all. Bang, bang, bang. They got off. It was the size of a Mars bar. It was the size of a Mars bar. Yeah? That big. Rigged up to the electric mains. Pages aren't encrypted end to end. No, but the, hang on, let me finish this story. Ask me that question in a minute. I'll tell you how our pages were so good. Um, so it was rigged up to the electric mains. Rigged up to the electric mains. The minute we touched it, zzz, zzz, it went scatty and he came and got it. He come and removed it. That's what happened. Another time. There's another time. Ian's going to buy a car. So he's gone to the BMW gaff. This is my youngest brother. He's gone into this BMW gaff. He's ordered this car. It's a nice car. He's got to go back and grab it. He's went back and grabbed it a couple of weeks later, and he's off. He's out in his car. He's parked up at lights. A car hits him up the arse. The car's not starting. Instead of going through the normal route, he had this mate called... Um, Someone in Caretail with a van, I forgot his name, used to do insurance and that for the cars. So anyway, he's gone down there with the car on the tow truck. As he's gone in and he's starting to look at the damage, pull the back seat, the driver's seat, pull the back seat back. You've got a thing like a, like a disc, like a CD cover, but thicker. Same size, rigged up in the back seat. Soon as he got at it, arm response swooped on the site. Got the car, put the car on a bus, tarpaulined it, and responded to um, 
Chorley. There's a gaff in Chorley where they take all cars that's involved in, in armed responses and all this. So they've got the car, bang, and, and we or, or the kids followed to see where the car was going and it went straight to Chorley for domestic for, uh, forensics and all this. That's how close they can get to you. And that was in 2-3, two, 2-2. Three, two, two. If you don't like what I'm saying and thinking, mad, this is real. This is how close they can get. Now, that's what they used to have to do. They used to have to go and get into your house to bug your house. They don't need to do that no more. Why? They've got human beings to do it. Now, when you hear me going on about human intelligence resources, if you don't know what I'm saying, HIRs, HIRs, human intelligence resources. This city has been using them for the past 15 years. And the Du Bois, the people with you on a regular basis, they're not in tight on the graft. They shouldn't be round you because they're not grafting, but they're round you. Why? Ask yourself a question. They're not getting involved in the crime. They're making a little bit of dough out of it. But what they're doing, they're sitting there listening to conversation. And that's all they do. They're there for conversation, to gather intelligence about certain things, what you're up to. Da, 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 da. That's what's working now. The Cogger says they've got bigger and better toys than us. Of course they have. They've been in the game for hundreds of years. Don't forget where this government started off, people. Don't forget where this government started off. Don't forget where the, the power in Ireland started off right now. Don't forget where the power is in every 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 city that's got governance. The people that govern them cities got into power through you know, ways that we don't call them criminal, but they are. Yeah, well, look, the last time I looked at the facts, and I think it was in about, um, I think it was like 216 when I was looking into all this mad, because there was just snitches everywhere. You know, you had that Bennett in the Hass, mate, in the, in the Hass trial. You had that fella, that that Grimes, that grew, that Blue Curtis Warren up. You know, you've had Pure, and I was just thinking, where are these coming from? So I done a little, I done a little, like a little research on it, and I think it was from between something like, from like 2006 to 2010, Merseyside Police had spent 3.7 million pounds on informants. That's over 10 years ago. But that's what it is. We're all tracked. We're all identified through electronics. They can lock in. They can listen to us. They've got every image off us off these cameras. Don't think when we're using these cameras, it just goes off and it just goes to you. And then it's going to another monitor somewhere else and everything's getting siphoned through. All by computer. Don't need a human to do it. We took it on board and felt better for it. Nice one, David. Well... What you put to me, David, was messy, mate, in a sense of, you know, it's a hard thing to comprehend in your situation. But we've all had situations and we've all had loss of loved ones. And I think we all come to agree that the end game is acceptance. So if you can sort of jump from that to that, accept what's gone on. And instead of being on their anniversary of their passing, if you like, Instead of being upset and emotional, which will disturb their peace, try and bring a joyful aspect to it. Try and remember the times when she was giggling, not the times when she was in the hospital bed. Remember the times when she used to give you the sweets every Sunday morning like your nana used to do, you know, like that stuff. Embrace who she was. Don't regret how she left us. Do you understand? It is what it is. Mad mind of mine, but that's just the way I think, people. That's just the way I think. Face it, mate. They know everything. There is not to know about us these days. They know everything, uh, but they've got to prioritise. What's the priority at the moment? Insurgencies. What do I mean by insurgencies? Don't be stupid. We've got sleeping cells in this country, and that's the priority by the government and all police forces up and down the country. Their priority at the moment, and has been for a couple of years, that's why you've seen everything else going, is terrorism. Now, a city here 
criticizing the back out of the law. I sit here saying this, that, this, that, this, that. Why? Because the law I've experienced in the city of Liverpool are corrupt and bullies. And there's nothing going to change my mind because you still see it happen now to this present day, but more frequent. But on the other hand, you have got, a, you've got, how can I call it? You've sort of got a shadow army in this country that's dedicating, that is dedicated to preventing IEDs or human bombs exploding on our streets today. Now, it is what it is, whether you like it or not. We are under consistent threat from outside forces. And that's just the way our life is. Who's keeping it peaceful enough to tolerate the law? So you've got to give them credit where the credit's due. You know, it is what it is. Without the law, we're all in the floor. It's as simple as that. I'd rather have them cut up in law in my land instead of some horrible deal around the corner. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'd rather have an armed response car with four, uni four uniformed policemen patrolling my street than an armed car with four little dealers smoking crack. Trust me on that, because that's the way to go.